Hey everyone, welcome, my name is Dmitry Mrzhensky, I'm the author of this YouTube channel about advanced Angular tutorials called Decoded Frontend, and I continue to share with you new Angular 14 features, and today we're going to talk about a new property for Angular Road called Providers. We will see it in action and we will check what kind of impact it has on the current Angular dependency injection. So subscribe to my channel and let's get started. This is a very simple Angular application I created specifically for this tutorial. And here I will be showing new Angular router features which are available since Angular 14. So let me quickly onboard you and demonstrate this application. And I will also give you some context about what we are going to achieve in this video and what we are going to implement. So as you can see, this application consists from three pages, the home page you see right now, and then I have users page. Uh, this page has a child component uh, that represents this user list. It is a smart component. Uh, this component injects the service that pulls data from the server and then with ng4 loop, we render the list of fetched users. You can also click more details button and then we will be redirected to the separate page. And here we will pull data for this specific user and show more details about uh, the user. So I can also go back and also I can uh, go to the admin page and admin page uh, you can see um, also very simple one and here I reuse this user list component and um, yeah this is absolutely the same component what I'm using right here so I decided to reuse it uh, in my admin page as well. Now uh, let's talk about the task we're going to implement. So imagine that we got a requirement that we got a new API from backend team or whatever and we want to test it out or try it out in our application, but we don't want to roll out it completely for the whole application. We want to try it in some smaller scope and if everything fine, then we could already roll out it for all users. And we decided that we want to use this uh, new API uh, specifically within admin uh, role. So all child roles, all components that are that belong to uh, admin role, they should use this new API. So we have to create uh, another service and uh, user list component should use this new service only within the admin role. The rest of the application should use the so, so to say legacy uh, API and uh, legacy um, Angular service that knows how to work this legacy API. So I hope you got the idea what we're going to achieve. And uh, let's switch to VS Code. And um, here's the source code for this application. Uh, however, I will not be uh, showing you component by component all those, uh, how it was implemented uh, because I will leave the link to the GitHub to, to the source code. You can clone it. Uh, you can clone exactly this state. Yes, yeah? so you can on your own investigate uh, how it was built. It is very easy, and uh, because this video is not for beginners, I will focus only on the things that are really uh, matters. And um, let's have a look at the user list component itself to you know, to see uh, how it is implemented so you get a better understanding of what we are doing. And uh, this is how the uh, component looks like. Uh, you can see very straightforward. We inject the user loader service. This is the service that basically does calls to our legacy API uh, and uh, it returns some 
data. Uh, for instance, we load users right here and we then assign everything to the user's property. And after that, in the template, we subscribe to user's property and using ng for loop, we render all of them. So uh, this is um, how it looks like. Uh, besides that, I prepared also um, uh, alternative experimental user loader service. Uh, this service is supposed to uh, kind of uh, treat it as a service that knows how to work with this new experimental API I mentioned in the, in the very beginning. Uh, so we would instruct, uh, we would like to instruct Angular to use this service for all components that belong to admin road, uh, including our user list, because this user list is being used uh, for users page and for admin page as well. And uh, this service should be replaced for admin road. How we could achieve this? We could achieve it uh, quite easy since Angular 14, because uh, now, Angular road has such a property like providers like that. And already here I can register Angular services that supposed to be singletons in scope of this road. So I can uh, do here the following thing. I say that provide a user loader service but I'm going to instruct Angular that uh, when Angular will try to resolve this service for admin component or um, some children for admin component, please do not use the user loader service class, but rather use existing experimental user loader service like that. If this everything looks like a magic for you, I have dedicated video about dependency providers in Angular. Um, link will be somewhere there, so you can check it out later. But now we can save it and enjoy the result. And you can see that for the admin page, the user list component resolved our experimental experimental user loader service instead using load uh, user loader service. And if we navigate to the users page, uh, this user list component, this specific instance of the user list component that belongs to user road, it uses the legacy service, right? So such a way we could uh, replace the service implementation uh, on the road level, which is really cool. Of course, it doesn't mean that it works only with standalone components. So you can see right here, I lazily load uh, directly the component without model. And if you didn't hear about standalone components yet, I recommend uh, my another video where I covered this topic. It is new thing that comes with Angular 14 in developer preview, so we can check it out later. But yeah, it works with any road. You can basically grab those providers from here and apply them for a users page, uh, which kind of uses the models. And if I save it, we should get the opposite result. So admin page uses the legacy service. And when I switch to users, you can see that I switch to the new implementation and it works without any problem with experimental service. But you could also say like, uh, all right, Metro, but we could solve it by applying providers on the component level, like directly to the admin component. Yeah, indeed, we could apply this provider um, directly in uh, our admin component. And if we save all those stuff, we will get actually the same results. You can see users page loads kind of the legacy uh, from legacy API. And here we can see uh, the new API in action. However, despite the behavior is the same, 
uh, those two approaches have one small difference. Namely, we configure two different injectors. Currently, what we have done, we configured the node injector for admin component. But here we configure a completely different injector that is created specifically for this road and this injector belongs to another uh, injector hierarchy if you didn't know in angular there are two injector hierarchies node injector hierarchy and model injector hierarchy the last one by the way was renamed in angular 14 because standalone components uh, make ng models optional so that's why model injector hierarchy and model injector was renamed to environment injector. And I can easily prove that uh, those are two different injectors by, for instance, I can remove uh, this part from here and leave only user loader service. And now the result will be that admin user will be using the legacy server or uh, service, sorry, uh, because node injector hierarchy has kind of priority over the uh, in environment injector. So that's why Angular resolved first this uh, user loader service. If I remove that, then Angular will switch to the environment injector hierarchy and resolve this provider. So you can see that the new service is being used. And now let's quickly recap what do we know about the algorithm that resolves dependencies in Angular dependency injection. And this is the schema that shows how dependency injection is being resolved in Angular right now. So we have some grandchild component that declares the dependency on user service. Uh, when Angular tries to resolve a proper provider for a grandchild component, First, it starts to resolve it in its own injector. If it doesn't find it there, it tries to resolve it in the parent injector, and then it goes up through the node injector hierarchy until it reaches some component that has provider for the user service. In our case, it is a root component, so Angular will resolve this instance of the service to our grandchild component. If there is no any provider inside the node injector hierarchy, Angular would uh, go through the node injector hierarchy first. It doesn't encounter any provider, then it returns back to the component uh, where this user service is declared. And then Angular tries to figure out if this component belongs to some router that has providers, in this case, it switches to the environment injector hierarchy and starts to resolve these dependencies from the router injector first. And then if there is no provider there, it will go to the root injector and then to the platform injector and so on until it rises the error if it doesn't find any provider. By the way, if you lazily load some module inside your uh, admin road, for instance, then rotor injector become the parent for this lazy loaded model. It is also worth to remember. All right, guys, that was it. I hope this video was really useful. And if so, and if you like it, please share this video with your colleagues and friends in your social networks. Also, you can subscribe to my Twitter, Instagram and LinkedIn accounts. There I publish every week some short uh, tips and tricks regarding frontend and I call them frontend snacks. I'm pretty sure you will like it. Besides that, please leave your comments in the comment section. I would like to know what do you think about this new feature. Uh, maybe you know some interesting use cases where you could already apply it or you can drop literally any comment because every your activity under my videos helps this channel to grow and if you would like to support me and everything what i'm doing and additionally get some cool knowledge then check out my video courses the links will be in the video description as well as coupon codes and this is everything i wanted to say i wish you productive week ahead stay safe and see you in the next video